For American Mahjong, anytime a player has two exposures, you can typically figure out what hand they're playing. In this exercise, we're going to practice reading a hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. This is a game recreated from Mahjong time. This is my hand and my opponents are all fully concealed. We're in the middle of the middle game. Based on discards and these exposures, what am I playing? This could be one of three hands. One crack, three crack, Pung Kong, three dot, five dot, Pung Kong, little odds. There are two consecutive hands this could be. Two, three, four, five, two crack, three crack, four dot, five dot, Pung Kong, Pung Kong. There's also another one with flowers, pair of flowers, three crack, four bam, five dot, mixed suit Kongs. There are four bams out and one cracks out. So with that, did you guess two, three, four, five? This is the tile I drew for Mahjong. Two, three, four, five. No two cracks are out, no four dots are out. Those missing from the discards could have been a good indicator of what this hand could be. American Mahjong has a card with a set number of hands that can be played in a given year. Because of that, it's a little easier to read hands there are many things to consider though, because we have jokers that can fill gaps as tiles are discarded and exposed. So when you're reading hands, look at the discards, look at exposures, and consider the tiles in your own hand. By comparing all those variables, you can typically figure out what someone else is playing. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.